Hi there. Today I'm going to discuss the NCRT solution of exercise 2.2, question number 1, part 6. So let's take a look at the question. So here we have to find the zeros of the quadratic polynomial, which is 3x square minus x minus 4. And then we have to verify the relationship between the zeros and the coefficients. So basically there are two things in the question. First, we have to find the zeros. Second, we have to verify the relationship between zeros and coefficients. So first, let's find out the zeros for this quadratic polynomial. So finding the zeros is very simple. All we have to do is middle term splitting here. So this could be done as 3x square minus 4x plus 3x minus 4. Now, we will be taking common from the consecutive terms, which could be x, if I take common from here, that's going to be 3x minus 4, plus sign as it is. From here, nothing is common, so we take one outside and we have 3x minus 4. Now, both the brackets are same, that means the two factors would be 3x minus 4 and x plus 1. So, these are the factors of this quadratic polynomial. To find out the zeros, we just have to equate them with zeros. And what do we get? We have 4 by 3 and minus 1. So these two values of x, these are nothing but these are the zeros for this quadratic polynomial. So this is basically the first half of the question. Now in the second half, we need to verify the relationship between the zeros and coefficients. So there are two relationships to verify this. The first is sum of zeros. So let's take the sum of these zeros first. What do we get? 4 by 3 plus minus 1. We will take LCM and simplify this. And we are going to get 1 by 3. Similarly, we will find out the product of zeros, which is 4 by 3 times minus 1, which is going to be minus 4 by 3. Now, we know one thing in this quadratic polynomial, if I compare it with the general form of a quadratic polynomial, that is ax square plus bx plus c. So, from here, I can say that a is going to be 3, b is going to be minus 1 and c would be minus 4, right? Now, what we will do here is, Simply, we know that sum of zeros is nothing but that's minus b by a. Let's substitute these values here. We get minus of minus 1 by 3. That's going to be 1 by 3. And you can see that this is same as the sum of these zeros, right? So, we can, the relationship over here verifies, right? The sum of zeros, uh, it's between, uh, between the zeros and the coefficients. Talking about the product of zeros, which is c by a, we get minus 4 by 3. When I put the values here, that is minus 4 by 3. This is also same. So, I can say that. Hence verified. So this verifies the relationship between the zeros and the coefficients. So that's all from my end. Thank you.